January 4, 1846, the day of Peruvian and Bolivian unification. Hello everyone, I call myself Sonoskind and I like to play Victoria 3. And we just swallowed up Peru and I need to go through some stuff before unpausing again. So depending on how long that takes, this will be another interlude of just me doing stuff before unpausing and then um, the next video being after I unpause. So, of course, first thing, is a no first thing to notice is that we're running a deficit and this number is red now instead of white with a minus because our um, fixed expenses now also um, outran our fixed income. So we're in an unhealthy economy and we do need to fix that rather soon because we're already drawing from our loans. So, um... That is because, if you look at the budget screen, we see that we aren't taxing these places. That's because they're not incorporated. Now, thankfully, we have some bureaucracy to spare, which we could either use to build our way out of trouble, but it's also a good idea to incorporate some states. Let me just check which ones are most valuable. It's probably Lima. Yep, Lima is the most valuable right now. Just going off of GDP, probably this um, province will also be the most um, taxable, I guess. So let's incorporate that one for sure. Then we have Cajamarca. Let's incorporate that one for sure. And... Let me see, that's zero. Nine and nine. Uh, I suppose we'll incorporate you, and we could, if we wanted already, start to incorporate Arequipa as well. But let's first then check our buildings. Uh, because some of the buildings in Peru are not up to snuff with our production standards. Let's see. Silk, we are importing. Um, and this would kick us up to 20. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, yeah, we had just built one in uh, Antofagasta, which is using silk. Uh, it will use 10, and we are getting 10, so let's not mess with that just yet. Um, these are doing fine in terms of the, the basic production. Then, we have furniture. Um, let's see, tools aren't a big problem yet. So we can afford to do a little more, bit more of that. Go to Lays. Yes, please. In terms of precision tools. Ooh, no, that would be bad. That would be bad. Um, so we can't do that yet. Then we have... Uh, we definitely can't do steel tools yet. Because we have zero steel. We might be able to do uh, pig iron tools if we had more iron. Uh, we did get the five iron mines in Antofagasta, um, yes, but it's uh, struggling to get employees, so let's not overstretch our um, iron needs just yet. Um, then we could get some more bureaucracy by spending more paper. We're already at a shortfall. We could maybe solve that by going to sulfide pulping. But then we need sulfur, which we have zero of right now. So, um, be nice if I would have clicked the sulfur mine. Um, if I remember correctly, there were some bonuses here towards sulfur mining. And here as well. And in Lima, just a little bit more. So... Sulfur mine in Lima. And we will also try to get some sulfur through trade. Um, it says now that it won't be productive. It will be because uh, we will then immediately uh, start to use the sulfite. Whoop. Sulfite pulping. Which will use 10 sulfur. Get us more paper and make it somewhat affordable to uh, do filing cabinets. Um, we have zero glass yet, so we can't do anything here. We have zero coal yet, so we can't do anything here. And we have zero transportation yet, so we can't do anything there. Um, rural stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, you're already at the best level. Then, fertilizer wise, okay, this would overstretch us, but then again, we have. 
Yeah, we can get way more fertilizer and some more fabric as well. So that's nice. Uh, let's do it. Uh, those should balance each other out somewhat. And wine. How are we looking in terms of wine? Not really. Don't really need that. Fruit, sugar. Eh. But then we would stop stop producing wine altogether. Let's like I believe rice farms can't do wine. So let's say that our maize farms make wine and fruit is handled by rice farms. Um, then this would need a lot more tools if I wanted to go to slaughterhouses. Um, how's butchering tools looking? Somewhat more acceptable. But then again, apparently meat isn't very... Yeah, you're already not making a lot of profit off the other things you're making, so... Uh, um, let's just stick, maybe even just stick with open air stockyards. It says this is less profitable. Hmm. Somehow I don't believe, yeah, okay, yeah, I believe that. Um, yeah, okay, let's just, let's just stick with it being somewhat mixed there. And then here we would need coal, which we don't have anything of yet. So, not an option. Uh, maze farms harvesting tools is an option. Only six tools, that's fine. Six units of tools, I guess. We definitely want more hardwood. Yes, please. And that means, I believe, we can go to precision tools. Eh, would overstretch our hardwood market just a tad, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, yeah, and that's most of everything. Well, let's... We can't go for ammunition yet we don't have any ammunition so uh, let's standardize at line infantry and um, at mobile artillery let's do that yeah line infantry this is uh, and then there's more here we could use 75 more iron seems like a bad idea uh, 75 less iron also seems like a bad idea so we just need more iron, um, and I want to start thinking about railroads, because Lima has insufficient market access, as does Potosi. So I kind of want to reverse engineer, starting from railways, which are uh, unlocking now. But, let's see, unlocks railway, needs coal and engines. So then, we need to think, okay, we can get coal from here, so that's fine. Slot in a coal mine. Gets 25 per. Uses tools, but that's fine. Um, we need engines. Uh, here, industry, motor industries. Then we need steel. How do we get steel? Steel, we need coal and iron. Okay, so definitely I need two coal mines. Uh, and I said, yeah, I need more iron. Definitely. Uh, do, 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 do. Did you have... No, you had the... Yeah, this was the, the thing where this is for this state, but it doesn't have any iron mines. And this state has the iron mines, but it doesn't have any uh, use for it. Uh, I can get only one iron mine here before the infrastructure is overstretched. Um, so I suppose here, where we do have some to spare, we get one more iron mine even though it's already at the uh, limit of what it can provide um, <clears throat> with that actually we did have some extra bureaucracy to also incorporate Arequipa and also incorporate uh, Tarapaca very nice uh, it does say we'll get a bureaucratic shortfall from religious schools that's only a bureaucratic shortfall of eight. So I'm okay with that. And I believe the way it works is the cost of incorporating a state, starting to incorporate it, is less than what it needs in bureaucracy at the end of the incorporation. So slowly you see the bureaucracy tick up again. So I think this will kind of balance out. And then there are a few more states, or one more state, which would need to be incorporated at the cost of 13 bureaucracy. So that's fine. Don't think I need to build more bureaucracy right now. Um, 
So we're building a soul for mine there. Then uh, coal, two times coal here. Oh, you're already at one out of one infrastructure. So let's not build the coal mines here. You're 10 over 6. That's bad. <laughs> uh, but at least here we can get a port. And then get two coal mines. Um, then there was also an iron mine. Two iron mines in the queue. Then we can start to think about a steel mill. Um, where do I have the decree for manufacturing industry? Because I suppose it's manufacturing industry. I have that in Antofagasta. Um, okay. I suppose I can get a steel mill there. Um, what infrastructure does it use? Three. That's a problem. So we need another port here. Already a three out of four. Yikes. Um, then we would have a steel mill there. We definitely just have to build our uh, motor industry somewhere else. Uh, I suppose just in the capital is fine. So motor industries there. Okay. And then we, in theory, would have everything for uh, railways. Now, seeing as we're running a deficit, um, which will get better as we start to tax these people who are contributing something to uh, GDP. Um, I think we also just want to prioritize maxing out our gold mines, so I queue that up first. Um, yes, this should even out. And there was another gold mine here. Build that immediately. Even though we're over the, uh, the infrastructure already, just, it has to be done. It has to be done. Um... Yeah, we'll be at 12 over 7, which is not great, but it's fine. Also, I did have a bit of a think what I want to do with my government in this uh, playthrough. And I think actually I want to be a bit more militaristic. Not that I, I'm a huge fan of militaristic dictatorships in real life. But uh, um, in this case, I think I, I want to do a playthrough where I make my armed forces as happy as, pro as, happy as possible. Um, our, our first leader, Santa Cruz, did die, or at least retire, but uh, maybe we can get uh, Mr. Blanche in, uh, in government and uh, do some domineering. But we kind of have an, an episode now coming up where we focus on industries. This is, this is already going to take quite a while, um, like something like five years already, and by then hopefully we're out of debt. Um, we're ready to start building railroads, and then we can use those railroads to uh, beat up on other countries. Which, uh, in a game, is fun. So, um, yeah, I think everything is ready. Because I, there were no really egregious shortages here. Or, uh, um, um, yeah. No, this is, this is all kind of fine. It's not amazing, but it's fine. And I just don't have the bureaucracy to spare to really amend some of the shortages and overflows of stuff. Um, yeah, so with all of that said, I think now I'm ready to to unpause. And looking at the time, I think it's fine to put a cut in here. So this was an interlude uh, of everything I want to do on the day of unification for Bolivia. Um, and as we unpause, we will uh, see the world moving again so thank you very much for watching um if you liked it you can leave a like if you have a comment you can leave a comment all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye